Hello and welcome back to Chevy's Adventures. Today we are going to look at my balcony garden. So I want to show you from where I started with not much and only really dirt and a couple of seeds to what it is today. So there is a lot of progress that I have made in there. I did add, end up adding more garden beds or more pots. I was quite lucky that Victor built them for me out of an old wardrobe that we had. So that is quite lucky. However, I did have to buy the soil for it and we just got that from the local supermarket. They had it there on sale, I'm not sure. Something that obviously happens in spring. So that was really good. I hope you enjoy it. You can see the progress that has been made from like just dirt to like the seeds sprouting to them growing up so please give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe and let's get into it here are the start of my lettuces you can see they are a little bit leggy not really sure what that is maybe they need more sun but this is the start and here are my microgreens so these are just some radishes and they need cutting as you can see in this pot here we have some baby basil plants that have just come up they were only planted last week so hopefully they'll get a bit bigger soon and we will have lots of basil to have pesto which is delicious and here is our olive tree it's going okay it's had a lot of aphids or an aphid infestation when we first got it so it had to be pruned quite severely but it seems to be bouncing back well I've got we've got some seeds seedlings in here now so we planted these so these are these four tomatoes and they've just started to come up I think yesterday this one started to come up and now like I've got some more here these are courgettes or cucumbers I'm not really sure there's like courgettes and cucumbers all the other way around we don't actually know I've got some sunflowers this is like falling down a little bit I don't really know what to do about it. Do I keep turning it or is it happy? Do I put a steak in it? I'm like, not sure. And then I've got another little sunflower seed coming up there. So that's pretty good. So this is the balcony. And we have, you can see there's like, I suppose it's maybe like four meters long, maybe five meters. As you walk straight out the door, there's like a seabed there. So we've like repurposed some old drawers that we had out of some old wardrobes. So there's nothing in there yet, but that will potentially have our tomatoes in it, hopefully. Then I've got some like strawberry plants. So these I just brought like a six in upon it. Um, up here, these aren't related to vegetables at all, but these are some flowers. So I think these are African violets. These are sunflower seeds as well. There were, I would say, more like five in there, but only two have actually survived. Then we also have some lavender that we just bought like that, and it's just starting to, I think, grow. Another violet. Uh, this was a garlic bulb that it was like just growing the, the pantry. So I was just like, oh, let's see how it goes. And it's done really well. It's like really tall now. You can see it's like 10 centimeters ish. So another violet. Then we've got a Venus flytrap. So they're actually really little. I thought they were like huge things, but they're not. It's not doing that well. We don't have as many bugs as I think it needs to eat. Then next to all that, I've just got like a big pot here. We're not really sure what we're going to put in it as of yet. We do have some carrot seeds. Is it the season for carrots? I don't know. Then we've just got some beds here. So we've just made these out of, again, like some old drawers and like bits of the cupboard. And then here we've just got like three drawers. So top two drawers don't have anything in it yet um, because it's been so cold. But the bottom one has got radishes in it and you can see the radishes are coming up. It's coming up just, so we've just watered them as well. So I just wanted to show you my balcony garden and how it is. I've just done this like pretty much all from scratch. Just bought like a couple of bags of soil from like the local supermarket. So it's not like the best soil, but it still works. So that's fine. Just like the seeds as well. So just water them and see if it works. I'm not really sure like how it will go or if they will grow big or just like regular or small size or if they will continue to work I don't know but like you know this is it this is to try to like have a little bit of extra like potentially like nutrition and like it's always feel feels good to like grow your own vegetables or like things you can eat like by your own hands 
by your own hands. It's amazing. It just, I don't know, it gives you that sense of joy. So I love it. So I'm going to continue doing it and we'll see how it goes from there. But just to let you know, like it is super easy. Um, you, these are just like old drawers from like an old wardrobe that we had. Like you could even just use like one drawer and like sit it anywhere, like near a window. So there's a bit of sunlight, water it. Potentially if you are using like a drawer that's made of wood, like put down maybe like a plastic bag or something so that the water doesn't get down onto your floor and then go from there. But like, these are just seeds we've planted, hoped that they've worked and they are working. So if I can do it, you can do it too. Okay, it's now been about a month or five weeks since I first showed you the garden. So now we're going to go and have a look at the progress. There's been a lot in some areas and not much, not much in others. Uh, but let's have a look and I will go through it as we see it. So in this first bed where we had nothing, we ended up planting some tomato seedlings. And you can see they've done really well. They were really little when we put them in. And there's some violets there and they've done great. So here is our lavender plant as well. It's grown a little bit. Then moving on to our sunflower. Yes, it does need a water. I know that, but it has grown drastically since you last saw it. Then in here, we've planted some kohlrabi or shurav. So they've just come up, so they're still quite little. Then moving over, we've got a violet in there, and then some beetroots. So these as well, again, are still quite little. Then here is our garlic plant, which has grown hugely. Like, you remember it before? It was so small, but it's done amazingly. These are our lettuces. These are the only ones that survived. They didn't do very well, um, and even now, they're not growing that much. Like, they're stuck like this. This is another sunflower, so this is also like huge, it's grown so big, um, so that's really nice to see. In here we've got a row of carrot seeds, yes they are very close together and we will have to space them out at some point. Then this is the sunflower that was falling over all the time at the start that I showed you, but it's grown. The small second one is there, but it hasn't done anything either. Our strawberries are amazing. Like they are huge. We've even got flowers. So we're gonna have some plants, I mean some fruit soon. Here are our radishes under here. They as well have like grown quite a lot. The ones in the back corner are doing a lot better than the ones that get more sun. Don't know why that is, it just is. Um, but you can see those ones there at the front are very small compared to the back ones. Then moving up, I'm still not sure if these are cucumbers or courgettes. But they're doing quite well. They've also grown a little bit, not as much as I would have expected. Then our cucumbers, these are also not doing as well as I expected. I don't know, do they not like the sun as much? I'm not really sure. They're just not really taking to it very well. Over here, we've planted some, it's like spinach, they call it mash. Um, they've come up, but they're not doing, oh well, they're doing okay, but they're still quite little. Then moving down, we just have some regular lettuce in here. Again, they've just grown. So here, do you remember the basil, the really small pot? We ended up putting a tomato in the middle um, because we knew it would grow taller than the basil and the basil are doing perfectly. They really like it. Then in this big pot, we ended up putting some tomato plants, some more just because we had the seedlings um, and they've grown a little bit. Um, you can see it's a bit dry in there. I probably need to give it a water as well. So I've realized the tomatoes take about, oh god, like a good solid three weeks before they get used to their new environment. I don't know whether that's just because they've been transplanted or they don't like it or I don't know what it is. But so it's only been about two and a half weeks now that they've been in that pot. So they're still doing okay. And we can see from the other ones that they have shot up like dramatically. So that's really good. And so then I've only got one last thing to show you, which is my violets and my flowers. They're doing amazing, like have been flowering solidly for, I don't know, a month maybe? I don't remember what was in the last video, I have to double check. Um, but then you can also see that there are some other flowers come up in the middle. Um, anyway, otherwise, thank you very much. Um, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and I'll see you again, bye.